Hey guys, welcome to another episode of my bike build and you're watching the KR Moto channel. today um, I'm gonna be surfacing my cylinder head and my jug head on my GS so basically um, I believe the warpage on this is when I looked at the book it's from two uh, what is it point zero two to point zero eight so when I checked it there was a little bit of um, warp on here not bad very little so i'm just going to be using a 220 and a 320 and the same with the other with the jug head because there's barely any warpage which i'm really surprised but i got all the the valves down in there cylinder holes uh the valve guides in there everything's all cleaned up in here so basically what i want to do is surface this i'm going to strip the paint off of it and then um i'm going to repaint it I'm hoping to do that today. I also, let's see, where is it at here? I helicoiled that right there. You guys remember that from my earlier, earlier videos. This was stripped out and I helicoiled it and that ended up turning out awesome. So I'm gonna get this done, give you guys the results of this and I'll be back. Oh, and before I get started, I wanted to let you guys know, this is 3M. It's 220, 320, and we're going to be spraying some WD-40 on there because this is wet and dry sandpaper. That's what you want to use. And also, if you do it this way, you don't have to run the risk as much as me putting the glass up on top of here and sanding this off and sand getting down in there. There might be a little bit of sand that gets down in there, but not much, and I'll be able to wash it off. Okay, and so basically what we want to do is we're going to want to work this back and forth you want to use this on a flat surface it's got to be completely flat that's why i used a piece of glass and i'm just going to take this and i'm going to move it back and forth like this so um, i'm charging my gopro right now so i'm going to pause the video and, and i'll be back because i've got to hold this so i'll be back in a second Okay, guys, so basically what you're going to do is um, I had to pause the video for a few minutes because, like I said, my, gar my GoPro is charging. And um, when you're doing this, I had to resort to this this way because it kept tearing up the, the uh, adhesive on the back of the 3M sandpaper because it's been so cold out here right now. It's like really super cold and I'm out here doing this, so I don't think it got hot enough to stick it. So... Basically, um, you're going to apply no pressure. You're just going to basically just put this on your hand like this and just slide it back and forth like this. Um, I used a 220 and the 320 because this thing had like barely a high spot right here. And if you remember, right, I put my cross hatching marks on here with the, uh, the Sharpie and I've gotten all the low spots out of it. So basically what I'm doing is making sure that the surface is cleaned off really good and it's to clean off of debris from the gasket or whatnot and the marks and you can tell I mean it's pretty much machined this has taken me probably 30 minutes to do it like this and I'm gonna do the cylinder head like this and well this is the cylinder head I mean the jug head and whatever you want to call it the piston head um, this is my cylinder head right here so but yeah you're just gonna apply light pressure and slide this thing back and forth and if you want to put some cross marks on here like this you can do it this way um, I did use um, some WD-40 at first you want wet and dry sandpaper and I used some WD-40 and I squirted that on there quite a bit 
on the sandpaper and I just doing the same motions back and forth and you just continue doing this until you get the high spots out of here like I said I checked this and there really wasn't any high spots in this I'm just doing this to surface this get this cleaned up from the gaskets and the same with uh, the other part that I'm gonna be doing which is the jug head so um, which I call it but um, anyways I'm gonna continue doing this I'm gonna get this cleaned off I'm gonna squirt it down with uh, some um, brake clean and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to strip the paint off this and then I'm going to take it down to a pressure washer and pressure wash all the stuff off here. Make sure it's super clean and probably uh, wipe it down in acetone or something. Um, but anyways, I'm going to get it super clean. Guys, the last thing that we want to do is we want to check in here and make sure that there's no, there's no light going on over here. That that's completely flat through there. You don't see any light through there. And like I said, there wasn't no warp on this head, which I'm pretty surprised. It stayed cool, so obviously with that Lockhart oil cooler on there. And I'm going to try running, let's see, I got a point four. It said to point two to point, or zero, zero, point zero, zero, two to zero, zero, eight. And this is a, all I've got is a 0, 0, 0.4, as you can see, like right here. Oh, and it's upside down. Huh. Anyways, you guys can see that. Can't get through there, can't get through there. Okay, guys, I just got done wiping this off with brake clean. I mean, you basically seen what I did, what I was doing. Um, there's a lot of people that do this on the Internet. Um, they do it differently. I tried doing it with the glass, but like I said, it was too cold. And I think the sticky stuff back here, when I sprayed on the sticky stuff, it just was so cold outside that it didn't adhere right. So I just went and did it with a normal block sander. And they do this a lot at uh, dealerships, man. I've seen them do it. And I've done this with, um, I had a, a Nova that I built. And so I did that with it. But this is what it looks like. It's all nice and clean. And you'll save money doing this. And I still got to do this one. Right, so this is what I ended up with um, I just cleaned this off with 380 grit and there's some little concerning scratches on here and if you look real close if I can get my fat head out of the shadows here you can see that scratch mark right there but I don't feel it with my finger um, and I seen these in here before like that right there god man that right there that was there before so that's why the whole um, sanding and surfacing for this, but you can see my cylinder head turned out really good. Jug head turned out really good too. I'm not really too concerned about it. Um, it wasn't leaking before, but those were on there. I know they were. So basically um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip all the black off this with the aircraft remover if it comes off. If it don't, I'm going to just slightly sand this and repaint it with VHT. Um... I was looking at the can and reading it a little better. Make sure that I heat this up. I'm going to heat this up to 140 degrees, both the cylinders. i got to take these, though, and get them pressure washed and clean all the dirt out of here. Because if there's any dirt in here, I mean, you can see there's some dirt, like, right down in there. And just dirty fingers. Um, but you can see the dirt down in there. And I sprayed blake, blah, brake clean on all these and cleaned them all out. But I've got this to where I need it at. And also, you guys check this out. We are gonna do an unboxing, and these weren't supposed to be here until, let's see, that's the top, until the 26th. So let's do an unboxing on this. Let's see what we got here. There's my little rubber grommets. There's my front seal. There's my rear seal. 
There are my circlips for my pistons, so I now get to take those out and look at these bad boys right here. These are valves. Let's open these up and take a look at these. Sorry, guys. Um, my camera was still charging, and I didn't go and get it because I've been so busy today doing other stuff. So I'm just going to open this up real quick. Impressive. Babbitt's online, guys. Hmm. Sweet. Look at that. See how clean those are? And you take out one of mine. That's that one here and one here. And you can look and see what the difference is. Not much difference of it. Is it? Oh, look at that. This is mine. This is the one that I cleaned off. And there's still some shit on there. But, you know, with exhaust valves, you're really never going to get that off there. I mean, I could have sat there and kept polishing and polishing and polishing. But I, the only thing you can see right here is... Um, right there is where the lap seal was. Where it was sealing against the head. I can get a closer look there. You can see. But so, yeah. Anyways. The bottom. I was never really able to get all this stuff off of there. But I got them to where. But yeah. That's awesome. So we're going to have to lap these. Make sure that we lap these. The other ones I don't really have to. If I don't want to. But I'm going to anyway. Because of that. So. No, this is the this was the one that was effed up if you guys remember right it was like right somewhere where's that here get it really super close you see that right there that little divot up there that mark right oh, god <laughs> sorry guys right where my thumb is get it look really super close <laughs> You can see that little pit mark there. I don't want that. You look at this one. Normality. Cool, huh? Look at that. And you look at this one. If it gets focused. See, I mean, I pretty much got them cleaned up real good, you know. So, um, I'm not going to do any polishing on this one. We're going to stick that one in number three, make sure that that gets lapped. And, yeah. I'm sorry, guys. This is the little O-ring to the transmission. That one there is. It was the final drive, I believe. There's another gasket for the same thing that goes around by the final drive. This is the end gasket, another gasket that I would need. Or, not a gasket, but a seal that I needed. For that also as well. That one. Got the seals. I just use one box because they had to send me that in two parts. I don't know why because I guess they had to order it from somewhere else. I don't know if they get this stuff from like Japan or or wherever they get it from. But one's open, one valve. But I've got all the rest of my parts in here. I got the other valve in here, and I'm so stoked because this should be the last of what I need to complete my bike. As far as getting everything done. Now I can start. I want to start stripping this stuff apart. I want to start lapping the valves. Getting that done. But anyways. I know I've made this video way too long. But I appreciate you guys watching my video. Please hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe. And the little notification bell. And I'll see you guys next week.